Hi. Since I released the first generative tutorial for the M8, a new major OS version was released, which introduced two new commands that are just perfect for generative music. Gen okay, I'll promise I'll try to pronounce generative probably this video. Um, I say I promise, I probably will mess it up anyways. These two commands are actually great for all kinds of music, so it's even worth checking out if you're not gonna plan on uh, using it for generative music. In the first part of the video, I'm going to update the sequence I've built in the previous MA tutorial. Um, there's actually a link on the top right here if you want to check it out. That's actually where you can learn how to get a start in generative music. Yeah, without further ado, um, let's go into the sequence. So if you look at the first phrase, phrase 10, in here. Um, this is basically how we build this. Let's play it first of all and you can get an idea of what it actually sounds like. All right, just very briefly what's happening here. So basically you have one note, it's a C5 note, and you have a pitch command which changes the, the, the pitch relative to the note, right? And then you have the randomize command set to 8. So basically this means that the randomize command will change the pitch command here um, by 8 steps, if you will, right? Um, to note actually is that there is also a um, scale set, so actually a major scale. So that means even though those are eight yeah, steps from the pitch, actually it's all in scale. So don't you don't have to worry about any notes sounding a bit off, right? Um, then in addition, you have those hop commands that actually jump back at certain points in time. And um, the reason why the C5 note is here is because I want actually the pitch to be relative when the note plays, right? Or the, the pitch to be changed when the note plays, right? So if this was here, this is how it would sound. See, so you will always hear the C5 note and then when the randomized command hits, it will change that note, right? So this is how I built it in the first video. But now there's a new command that was introduced and that command is called random left, right? And that actually changes things a little bit. Because um, as the name suggests, this random command changes the pitch actually above or whatever you put above it, right? But the randomized left command, as the name suggests, changes everything left to it, right? You can actually see it here in the description. Randomize left, randomize the value of the command to the left, right? So what does that mean? Well, that means actually that I don't have to place the randomize command below it, but also I can just move the note up here, right? And now you have the same basically as before. See? On one row basically, right? But not only that is possible now, um, there's actually a hidden feature in here which makes it, in my opinion, much, much more powerful. And I will actually show you another way uh, you can use the randomize left command to uh, do some beat juggling, right? So to randomize beats um, after this, actually. So in this case, um, what you could do is, if you think about it, randomize left, what does it mean if you put it here? on the effects command here. What could that mean? Basically, if you look at the, the value here, um, or if you hold edit on the value, you will see that it actually says random note and also inst plus eight, right? So instead of actually changing the command to the left, it will actually change the instrument on the left and also the note value on the left. So basically the whole thing I did with the pitch command and the randomize and blah, blah, you actually don't need that anymore. You can actually randomize the note um, there is, however, a difference between randomizing the note and randomizing the pitch command, mainly that the pitch can also be altered while the note plays, but it's not really relevant for, for this demonstration or for this kind of sequence, right? So, um, actually, this should now sound exactly as before, if I'm not mistaken, or very close to what we had before. Saving real estate for other commands here. So, let's listen to it. Yep, sounds exactly the same as before. So this is, in my opinion, a really, really great addition to the commands palette 
of the uh, of the M8. But now, the second thing here, random instrument. What does that mean? So actually, let's let's put it in, right? So if I hit plus five here, it means the next five instruments will be randomized here. So this will sound a bit chaotic, probably. Let's listen to it. That's the sample actually playing now. So I don't really have to probably mention how that can be great for generative music, right? So basically, if you want to, you can create five instruments with I don't know, macro synth, for example, with different values, and then set different timbres, different whatever values you want. And because of the randomized functionality here, you will not only have a randomized instruments, you will also have randomized effects like timbre and, and maybe even LFOs affecting it. So this is just just open up the whole new world for generative content for for the M8, right? Just having this instrument command here uh, being able to be randomized. But that's not only it. Actually, I want to show you something else which I immediately thought of when I, I saw that randomized left is affecting the, the instrument. So for that, actually, I'm going to create a, a new track. Um, did I save this? I think I did, right? I'm a... I'm German, but right? I'm I'm very I'm very thorough with everything. I'm just kidding. I'm I, I'm I'm a mess. Uh, yeah. Anyways, um, let's create a new song, um, and a new phrase, and a new instrument. Right. So this is empty now, which is the default in the M8. By the way, uh, real quick sidetrack. Um, big shout out to Ever Cadabra, who actually, as far as I know, suggested this randomized left command. Uh, to be added to the M8. I'm not entirely sure about it, but uh, yeah, anyways, she's a, a great uh, contributor to the whole uh, Dirty Wave M8 community and yeah, also to the ecosystem. I mean, you'll find presets that she made in the in, on the SD card. She also did a video on the randomized left command, so you can also check that out. Anyways, let's go back to the um, beat juggling that I wanted to do. Let's go into the instrument and let's choose a sampler. And then let's load a sample. In this case, I will actually choose a uh, some drum loop. Let's go here. And let's choose some more drum and bass type stuff, maybe. Yeah, this one, why not? Sounds perfect. Uh, and maybe also let's change the pitch up a little bit. Uh, not the pitch, the tempo a little bit up. So it actually matches this. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I, I'll set this speed up with the classic time stretch trick. So basically there's no native time stretch in the M8, but you can set it up with the LFOs. So it basically uh, behaves like as if time stretch was a thing. So for that, I'm going to actually uh, change the play mode to forward loop. I'm going to reduce the length to zero, right? So now it sounds like that. Beautiful. Um, and then I will choose an LFO up here. Destination, I'm gonna choose the loop start, and um, we need the ramp up. And you can see already it sounds time stretched, right? But we need re trigger. So it actually plays again when a note fires, right? So let's increase the frequency until we are happy with um, the way it sounds. So this to me sounds almost like it was before, right? And the reason I do this is actually so I can change not just the tempo, but also, for example, if you change the pitch. It, it will change actually only the pitch and not the tempo, right? So this is the cool thing. Right, so this is uh, another reason to, to add this. Um, kind of pseudo time stretch. So, um, yeah, so basically now we have one beat. Um, let me actually amp up a little bit. Give it some punch, right? So we have one instrument now. So now I'm gonna copy this over. So I'm gonna hold Shift, Option, and Edit. And now I copied 00, zero to zero 01. And now instead of um, yeah, having to do all of this re again, I'm just gonna select maybe the next beat. Right? Or maybe the next one. Let's just this one maybe. Then let's do this again. Shift, option, next instrument. Let's choose the next beat. Let's do it again. Shift, option. Let's choose another beat. This is actually a bit faster. Doesn't really matter. Oh, actually in this case, it does matter because we have to switch the fre frequency. 
Yeah. So now let's do one more just for good measure. Let's take this one. Uh, should we leave it or? All right. So now we have four instruments. Um, now, how does that even matter, right? Why do we need four instruments? Actually, it's five because we start with zero, right? Um, and yeah, so if we choose now the randomize left command and we choose the instrument, now what's going to happen is it will randomize the beat every time it starts, right? So let's listen to it. Okay, the one is not really sounding too great. This one, let's change this. There you go. So, so now you have a new beat starting with every phrase here, right? I actually have to go down here. So, and that's already pretty cool, right? So you you have a randomized selection of of a beat, but that's not only the only thing you can do. Now, with this, um, if you want to, for example, play different slices, right? What you could do is is to use um, the uh, the LFO trigger command. So this will trigger the LFO at a certain point in time, right? So if you put that in here and let's say you put it to 10, then um, actually for now, let's move this out of the way. So we have only the same beat just for the demonstration. Did you hear that? My other one? See, so it will actually replay the phrase of, of the um, of the beat from a certain position in the LFO. Actually, it, it makes more sense if you look at it on the instrument page. Um, let's have a look. Um, did you see? So on the on the amount, we actually jump to a different point at the start. So this is basically how you can emulate the slicing of a sample with this LFO time stretch thing, right? Let's just, for the sake, let's choose this one again to the start then let's go here let's take one here maybe see so now it's some more randomness but how about we're actually just going to use this randomize command again and for that actually i made a mistake i should have copied those over here um, so let's copy those over here and then let's reuse the randomize command here. So imagine what's going to happen now. Basically now you have a different part of the sample or a different slice play from any of those positions. So let's listen to it again. Ah yeah, you need also a note there, I guess. There you go. That's already pretty good. Right, so that's how you can use the randomize left command to introduce or to create really cool, interesting drum phrases, right? So let's, um, if you want to take this further, you can even add maybe a, um, a different pitch command. Let's put that here and let's put another random left here. So now let's take this to zero. So now you also have a different pitch. And you can even put this also here somewhere randomly in the middle. Or maybe let's put a re-trigger command on this one here. And then let's put some chants on it. Um, do, do, do. So this on the left, maybe only... There you go. Is, is all randomized, right? It's all generative, if you will, right? Pretty cool, right? 
So there you have it. Those were the commands I just wanted to talk about real brief uh, for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the content. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't really able to, to produce that much stuff just because of life being in the way, right? Um, yeah, uh, if you want, just check out my EP. I released an EP on the M8. Um, it's on Bandcamp. If you buy it there, you'll also get access to the bundles. Uh, I would really appreciate um, if you enjoy the music to actually buy it. That would be cool. If not, you can also listen to it on Spotify and on all of all of the other streaming platforms if you're crazy enough to do that, actually. Anyways, have a good day. Enjoy. And see you in the next video. Bye.